ye no muhozi kaine rugaba who happens to be CDF first that after his father is a president no civilian will be a president in Uganda but two that uh, as a CDF he has now endorsed the NRM chairman for the next presidential elections these two issues go against the core principles of this constitution that a CDF a military officer is endorsing a candidate of a political party but two is also issuing threats that uh, no civilian will be a president after his father so the procedure issue i am raising mr speaker that the army will not allow is whether the minister of defense must not be asked to account for this statement chapter 4 of the constitution one in which the bill of rights is enshrined and at no time does the constitution tell us that article 208 ousts chapter 4 of the constitution being a military man does not put you outside the ambits of chapter 4 of the constitution you retain the right to express yourself you retain the right to form an opinion it would be different if he was ferrying ballot papers and voter materials for a particular party and even then if he has to do it for security purposes under the circumstances each case would be adjudged based on its facts i beg to submit thank you i all along i thought i, I went to the same law school with my and friend until today well i'm not saying that i'm disappointed because he has expressed his opinion but I think it is, it is vulgarizing a very important matter which one of Semuju has raised. That a serving military officer who is at the helm of the UPDF current comes up and makes statements which not only contravene Article 208 of the Constitution, but also the UPDF Act itself. And not only general comes and defends that kind of conduct as part of the freedoms of expression, and opinion, well knowing that some freedoms are subject to the law. I went to the same law school, not only law school, but same high school with the, the Honorable Attorney General Kafuzi. I am not disappointed because one core thing we were taught is to express the opinion. And the Supreme Court of this land has ruled in Andrew Mwenda and uh, Charles Onyango, both versus Attorney General, that a person has the right to express even a wrong opinion. I was going to say, outside Parliament, I say even a stupid opinion. But fearing you where you're seated, Mr. Speaker, I, ought, I opted to refrain. My appeal to you, sir, and to this House, for the safety of this country and everybody, is subject to this one investigation, so that we have my brother, Kainerugaba, to also say I said, I did not say, I was not in my usual moods or something else. So we give him a right to defend himself. The UPDF has its code of conduct, has its disciplinary procedures. If any member of the UPDF violates their code of conduct. They are subjected to their disciplinary. I have seen generals going there. I have seen senior officers going there. So I don't want parliament to turn itself into an investigative body where before the institution can utilize its own mechanisms in case there was a problem. In case there was a problem. So really, I, I, I am not going to be referring this matter to a committee for investigation. We have a lot of business to handle here. Let us leave institutions to handle theirs. Kati, ozo kudamu ebi ntumuhozi biya yogede. Ozo kuso kukunka pasanti ya wadeti si mutamivu ya biya yogede. Kati, nze sina wude kudamu muhozi. Sibu ina na akatomo. I don't have any time to answer muhozi. You have to first prove to me that you are sober when you say those things. Because you have said so many silly things across how he's going to go and invade Kenya and what and what. How do we serious people start answering back to that? Enough about at food never 
okubanga ati bitu damu ntia ye kati ayogedde chiri kati ya gabye chiri kati ayogedde chiri kati nayogera chiri kati ebintu byo nasinga tubanga byayogera byo na ftu bidamu abantu maziko ya tubate tuchaina chira chitu kugera ko ntikati ngenda kulumba Kenya nasaze ngenda kubera mu Westlands na tumaze kutwala revolution kati omuntu ngoyo omudamu tya so kati now I, I want to, for me to answer anything that Moses said I want conclusive proof that he was sober when he said it. I 